Hello, hello. It is Selene with Swanky Mountain and woo, hopefully that didn't shake you too much. And at Marae Designs. And I am here with my most recent finished pattern review, which I'm wearing today. So um, this is the Red Rocks Tie Tank by Amanda Gilbert, um, who is lovely by Lee on Instagram and in social media and on Ravelry. She is the bomb.com. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I like personally know her because I do. We live in the same time town. <laughs> Anyhow, um, her designs, I cannot gush about enough. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos about her, they are so clearly written. They are color coded. They come with options so worth purchasing. Um, she does occasionally run sales if that is important to you. However, I like designers are undervalued, I feel like in our knitting community sometimes. And Amanda is a designer that deserves her dues. I have knit a bunch of patterns from a bunch of people and Amanda's patterns are always well written. They always fit. In my time for testing and um, knowing Amanda, I have knit, I have gone from, let's see, I've, my body weight has like literally gone like this. And it literally doesn't matter if I am a size 18 on the verge of being a 20 to being all the way down to like a 10, 12. Every single time I knit one of her designs, it fits, it looks good and it's flattering every time. Like, I cannot emphasize that enough, every time. So, um, here we go. This is the Red Rocks Tie Tank, which I think I already said, and I've already told you all the things that I love about this pattern. It is knit in a broken rib. Gotta move some stuff out of my way. Um, and it's got this super adorable tie right here. Here's a quick little hack. If you ever have to tie, pull up my pants. If you ever have to tie a tie, if you take the top one to go over when you make your next loop, it will allow your knot or your bow to lay flatter. So anyhow, super cute tie detail that's not added on. It's knit as you go. So you start at the bottom you knit back and forth to create the ties and then you connect it here and then you go around and around and around and around and around and then you break it for the sleeves and you knit the front and the back. You've seen me stand up and down a couple times so you can tell that this top is uber flattering um, and all of the things. So there is that. Um, I'm just scrolling through the pattern real quick to make sure that I am not missing anything else that I, oh it does come with two different v-neck options i opted for the modest version um because i plan on wearing this when i am teaching at school but um it does have a lower v version which i probably will make for like summer lakeside camping type stuff um so crazy comfortable and she gives options to make it solid stripes You've got, like I said, options. Okay, so let's talk about what I did. I knit this with, whoa. I went too many pages. Okay, I knit this with a size seven um, Addy Lace Tip Clicks. Um, the pattern calls for size US eight needles, but as we all know by now, if you've been watching my videos, I am a loose knitter. So I usually have to size one or two needle sizes down. Um, I did knit it in a category four worsted weighted yarn. I used Mad Hatter's, um, one of their color burst colorways. And I have to say, I am so excited with how it turned out. I was a little bit nervous using a color burst yarn for something like this um, because you can't really control the pooling. 
Um, it just happens a little bit organically. And I was moderately worried, especially like here when, when I'm going back and forth, um, that these sections would look weird or off or somehow. Um, I will admit I was more than a little bit terrified that it was going to end up being very unflattering around my bust area. But honestly, I think it turned out fantastic. Um, we are lovingly calling this shirt my art teacher shirt uh, because I, of course, if you don't know, also teach art um, and I totally feel like an art teacher when I wear this, like so much. I don't know how many times I've said like in this video. Anyhow, a uh, great yarn, one um, Fabulous Fabugous Fibers Wonderland Yards is one of my favorite yarn dyers. They are located in Vermont. Their yarn bases are superb. They wash up beautifully. Their colors stay bright and fabulous wash after wash. It does not pill ridiculously. Um, as far as super wash yarns are concerned, their bases are above the rest, equality wise. Um, so I've talked needles, I've talked yarn, I've talked pattern, I've talked really, really fast, so you might have to hit the little button to slow me down, but there you have it. This pattern, as of the making of this video, has not come out, so you should go follow Amanda on Instagram so you know when it comes out. And in the meantime, if you want to get hooked up with yarn, you can always stop in at Swanky Mountain, and I will gladly hook you up for you to have your own very red, fabulous, very fabulous red rocks tie tank. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, that just gives me a little bit of encouragement to continue to make, make these videos. I want them to be helpful. So if you have any feedback, always appreciate it. Don't be afraid to drop into my DMs. I love a good yarn chat. Have a great day and we will see you soon.